Hey everyone, Dr. DeCubles from Main Street Chiropractic and I'm joined again with Phil from Sand Hill Coffee. So today we're going to talk a little bit about how to do a French press at home. I know when we hear French press sometimes that can be a little bit scary, uh, but it's not. Phil's going to walk us through the steps. Oh, thanks again for having me, Doctor. Um, so yeah, just like Doctor said, I'm um, just going to give you a quick little couple pointers for making your French press coffee at home. Um, it doesn't have to be as big of a deal as it seems to be or could be, you know. Um, one thing that people really enjoy about the French press is the whole process. Mm -hmm. um, you know, grinding the coffee, or if you already buy it ground, totally cool too. Um, but just, you know, the aromas of it, everything, like it's kind of a more relaxing. This isn't a quick out the door way to make your coffee. Right. Um, more of a weekend style, I guess you can say that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to give you a couple little, quick little tips and hopefully that helps make your French press a little better. Sure. Um, so kind of the golden rule um, for coffee ratio to water um, is one tablespoon for every six ounces of water. So okay. let's say you're, and that's kind of how your pot of coffee they use at home. That's generally what those cups mean, which I know all of our cups are 12 or uh, bigger right. ounces, um, but that's kind of the general ratio that is, uh, has been established. Uh, so like this little French press I have here, it holds 12 ounces, so I'm gonna use two tablespoons of ground coffee. Okay. And we'll tangent for a quick second on grind size. So the right grind size for a French press is one click on your grinder below cold brew. So let's say you have your grinder has five settings, cold brew being the fifth, French press grind setting would be setting four. Okay. So it's not gonna be the coarsest, um, but still a little coarser than for your drip maker. And I realize I just forgot a spoon at home, so I'm going to eyeball this. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, so you got your grounds and your French press. Um, one thing you don't want to do, again, this is just mainly to not make a huge mess. Uh, you don't want to go through and just fill this up with hot water right away. So, and this will actually enhance the flavor a little bit. So you're gonna cover, you're gonna soak the grounds with hot water. Let that sit for about 30 seconds. Okay. So we're gonna, fa we'll fast forward 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then you can top it off the rest of the way. So and what I, I like to do is just rotate the water around in a circle around your French press. This just gives a chance to get all the grounds soaking wet. All right, top it off. And then you're gonna let it steep. I let the, I put the plunger down about halfway just to ensure all the grounds are fully submerged. Um, and you let that steep for about four minutes and you're ready to go. Okay, and then you leave it halfway the whole time? Uh, when you're done, you can push it all the way down. Okay, nice. When you're ready to pour. Now, um, is there any, if you let it sit longer, does it get stronger? Is there any change in the flavor the longer you let it sit? Uh, actually, yeah. So you could, the water could start over extracting flavors and it might taste a little bitter. Okay. So where's so like if that's your, more your style then. <laughs> right. Okay. So where's like the sweet spot? Like if you, when you do this, you want to drink it after about how long? Uh, let it steep for about four to five minutes. Okay. Yeah. You don't have to go too far. Okay. All right. Perfect. So it doesn't take too long. There's not, you know, too much you can really mess up. It's really about just trying not to rush it. Right. Exactly. Yep. Okay. Makes but sense. But I know life happens. You know, if you got kids, you get distracted, you come back and it's cold, it's still drink it. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's not going to ruin the cup. All right. Sounds good. Well, thank you very much for that tip. Hope everyone now is comfortable using a French press at home. Yep. Thanks.